Good evening, I'm Alicia Richards. I'm Valerie Pritchett. Another weekend of gun violence in Harrisburg. Two people are dead. Three others, including a 12-year-old, are hurt after four separate shootings. No one's been arrested, but the DA says police are about to get a big helping hand. Mark Hall has our top story. Dauphin County District Attorney Fran Chardo had a conversation with Harrisburg Police Commissioner Thomas Carter on Monday morning after the latest in a series of violent weekends for the city. Chardo says county detectives will help city police with open cases and also with crime prevention. We're using, uh, we agreed today that we're going to lend our uh, uh, members of our crisis response team, uh, our tactical team, to assist the city police uh, and patrol and hopefully increase that presence in in the troubled areas while the officials do their work the community is doing its part several grassroots organizations are holding a town hall at the allison hill community center monday evening lamont jones is one of the organizers we have to find alternative ways to get them out of that lifestyle. Trauma surgeon Dr. Dale Danglebin is scheduled to speak. He posted on social media during the early morning hours over the weekend after a long shift in the ER, trying to save the lives of shooting victims. We've gotten cold and numb to this, and um, families are left to pick up the pieces. And you know, you got a city that's is in crisis. Jones says children, teens, and young adults will be on hand to listen and participate. And he hopes Dr. Danglebin's message hits home. Dr. Dale Danglebin is the, um, the trauma surgeon that's really working on a lot of these victims that come through. Let them know the effects of, of gun violence. Violence in itself, not everyone dies. So some people are maimed and they're ruined for the rest of their lives. In Harrisburg, Mark Hall, ABC 27 News.